Hi, this is Jack from Engineering Gear, and today I'm going to be showing you how to oxypropane braze. So to start off with, this is just a quick overview of the equipment. So oxygen and acetylene regulators with hoses and uh, flashback arresters, and this isn't a standard mixing torch. Uh, this is a circular one, not uh, the flatter ones. These ones seem to be better. Uh, some safety equipment, so our goggles, respirator if you... Um, want to wear that and we need our flux so for the purpose of today's video um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this um, by adding flux not but using a pre-flux rod because that will be too easy for this video so uh, I'm just going to show you how to mix that now so you're going to need to cr your correct mixture uh, between your flux uh, to get this paste which you're going to apply which is going to help form the weld better. So you can see this is all dry. It's all dried. So I just need to add a wee tiny bit of water and a very, very little bit of water. So you can just dip your paintbrush in or whatever you're using, soften it up a bit. Then just apply that to it. And keep on applying it because you don't want to add too much at one time because uh, it doesn't take that much to really turn this into paste too much water and then you have to start adding more flux and too little water then you have to start adding more water so we don't really have much flux in this now so I'm just going to keep on adding a bit of water here till we can get that paste that we're looking for and this is really going to help for when we're welding. Okay, so now I've got a pretty good piece like substance so we're going to apply that to our sheet steel and then we're going to start brazing i'm going to show you some flame types uh the best ones for brazing and which types you can have so we're just going to apply this under our piece of sheet steel just along the crease where we're going to be welding And add a wee bit more. And that should do uh, for welding this. So I'm going to be doing a strength comparison test with this as well against MIG welding. So uh, I'm going to be using the, this video and that same video because there's no point filming it twice really. So now we're going to actually start the brazing. So you, when you start brazing, want to have your goggles on but you can open them so you can see right through and then when you need to you can put them back down so now we're going to turn on our gas oh um, make sure your taps are just closed on your torch So, um, just before we actually start the torch up, I just want to um, go for something quick. So today I'm going to be using a lighter. If you're using oxyacetylene, you have to use a spark gun. Because um, if you use a lighter to light the oxyacetylene flame, it can burn the lighter and cause it to ignite. But with oxypropane, you're fine. So that's just a quick safety thing. And uh, another thing, I always wear TIG gloves. Just in case, it gives you an extra bit of heat protection. So now we're going to actually start a flame. So you're going to slowly add your propane just before it cones, which you'll see in a second. I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you add too much propane and it's too little. So you're just going to turn your red button to the left 
slew the odds. So now we've got a pretty nice flame. So I'm going to add this flame until we cool it. So you can see that there's this gap between this. You don't want that. So we're going to just get rid of it until you just have a nice flame. And then you're going to add your oxygen slowly. So we get this blue flame. So you don't want this um, orange bit at the end that you just saw there. So that's the orange bit. You don't want that. So you're just gonna add that. All right. So now we're ready to breeze. So you can move your your torch to your workplace. So this is the easiest type of welding, so now you um, put down your goggles and grab your rods, we're using 0.8 rods today, I think, I'll check. So I can see one piece of the metal sitting out slightly, so you just want to get a bit of pliers and press that in, because like MIG welding, it doesn't really take if you have that. Okay, so now we're ready to breeze. So you're going to heat up your metal until it's orange. Holding the flame pretty close to the metal. gonna add a wee bit more oxygen. You can hear the difference. Until you're red hot and you want both the pieces of metal to be red hot and then you're gonna add your rod in between it. Just slightly bigger rods, not much left than that one. I'll show you what to do after your rods get quite small um, when you're brazen as well. So again, you're just going to add that along your line. You go back and forward to get that lovely puddle. So this is just as strong as MIG welding if you do it right. There's no real difference except I find that it's a lot easier to clean off brass. Um, rather than steel. So now I've got a pretty nice weld along there. It's pretty hard to see on camera. But you can also just add a little bit along the top. So this is meant to be cheaper than MIG welding because um, the brass isn't too bad to get. It is a bit expensive for the bigger rods but apart from that, 
So we've got a pretty nice welder. So um, the way I switch off my torch now, um, that's the thing I'm gonna go over. So I switch off the oxygen first. So switch off the oxygen. And then you switch off your propane. And then switch it off at the bottles. And you, you get an instant pressure drop. And you vent these just in case there's any sparks. If you're using a grinder or something. You don't want any gas sitting in these pipes. So you just open the valves completely and you'll hear this hiss of gas. And then open your oxygen one. And that's it. That's it completely open. So we've got a pretty nice weld along that line. and It looks pretty nice. So we can clean that off and I can show you the back of it. You can actually see that it's went through. Just like Meg. It's went right through the metal. So we're going to strength test it against Meg welding in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this quick video where I'm going over all this. See you in the next video. Bye.